You know your history. Very good. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're headed to the world of a game that really came out of nowhere. A game that I was asked to test and I gladly said yes, titled Spirit of Europe Origins. And this game is very different than anything I have really played in the past. Just follow me down the rabbit hole for a minute, okay? I got it written down over here. This game, this is how I would categorize it, all right? Dark fantasy, indie, tactical turn-based strategy, JRPG. On top of that, this game gives you a history lesson. Now in school, with the exception of like, you know, PE, my favorite subject was history. And I got a feeling a lot of gamers enjoy history. In this game, when you first boot it up, you can literally register. And during the game, you actually answer quizzes. And then once you finish the game, you take your final assessment. And if you pass your final assessment, you legitimately get a certificate, okay? An education, and you don't have, you could skip that. Like for me, I was like, ah, I'm not gonna do that. So I skipped the registration process, but if you're really into the game, if you really enjoy it, I mean, literally, it is multifaceted like I have never seen before. And of course, I've got a copy of the game. Right now, you could actually get it on Steam. The link is in the description. Now, this is what we're gonna do, okay? For the Spirit of Europe, obviously we are going to do a full match. I want to show you this gameplay. But in here, you have New Game Classic. This would just be like your standard campaign. You have New Game Story Mode, and this game only contains battles related to quests. And then you have Arena Mode, and this is just like basically custom battles that you can set up yourself, and that is what we're going to do for this video. But before we go to the Arena Mode, before we go to those custom battles and you can see what combat actually looks like, let's start with the opening cinematic. In days of old, the shores of Phoenicia were graced by the great beauty of a maiden princess. Her radiance shone second to none, mortal or divine. And so it was when Zeus, lord of the Olympus, gazed upon her in awe. The god then morphed into a handsome and tamed white bull, tricking her into riding him to the sea. He took her away to the island of Crete, where their offspring laid the foundations of a mighty and glorious civilization. But the princess was never whole again. And her desire to be reunited with her old self became manifest. And after eons of thought, she sent the spirit forth as a harbinger of her reign. I won't tell you the princess's name, but the harbinger's name was... The Spirit of Europe. Now, obviously, I can only speak for myself, but the game name, Spirit of Europe, only made sense once I watched the opening cinematic. It was like a light bulb going off. Oh, now I understand. Two things I forgot to mention in the intro clip, okay? One, this game is completely free to play. You can go download it on Steam right now. It's free, and it's not like it's free, and then you have all these MTX, and it's free, and then you gotta buy these characters, and then it's free, and you need the battle pass, and you skins, no. No MTX in the game, and it's free. I totally understand it's hard to believe. Second thing I forgot to mention, this game has a 90% rating from the community on Steam right now. It's free to play, and it has a A on Steam. All right, we talked about it for a minute. You saw the opening cinematic. Now let's actually check out some gameplay, but first we have to build our deck. We need to build our characters. And just to be clear, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're like, oh, I got six characters to choose from. Great. No, no, no. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 different characters. And it's the exact same for the enemy side. And you get to pick six of them, okay? Now on here, you have their initiative, you have their attack, block chance, defense, critical strike chance, and then over here you have their essence slash uh, regeneration, and you have their energy regeneration. So you can kind of see all the differences between each characters, okay? Now let's say I want to have a savage. So in here, I cannot put savage under ranged because it is a melee class, so it turns green. And boom, I've got my savage. On top of that, I want, let's see, mm, we'll go Spearman, okay, let's keep going, Hatchet Thrower, that's different, Viking, I'm just literally looking at the names, Pikeman, nope, Witch, okay, we'll take a Witch, and Plague Doctor, boom, we like Plague Doctor from... Darkest Dungeon. Okay, so we made ours. Now we could also randomize them if you want to. So we'll just do random for the enemies. Click it a few times and it'll get it all random up. Now if I wanted to be cheap, okay, I can make my allies a higher tier. So I can make them tier five and I'm fighting only tier one. So if you just wanna murder them, you can do that. But for the sake of this example, we're gonna keep it tier one, tier one, and we are going to battle. And I'm likely gonna lose, okay? So you can just keep your commentary to yourself. Just kidding, you can say whatever you want. All right, turn-based strategy. Here we go. All right, so my turn. So let's see, I had my Witch Doctor looks like took 20, 21 damage during that encounter. And now it is our turn. First up is the Viking. So on here I can attack. I could battle cry, intimidate melee row enemies, lowering their defense for two turns, or I could raid deals base damage divided by the number of targets to the melee row. We are gonna battle cry. We'll do the front row. Okay. Done. All right, so now we've got our spearman. Oh, hatchet thrower. We are gonna go. Hmm. Really hate going after the melee row. All right, well, we threw it to the melee row. Next up is the Savage, and the Savage right now only has a melee attack, so we will go after the one in the middle. Down to eight life. Almost got him. Take out that one in the middle next. Owie, stop hitting me. Alright, Spearman, kill him. Thank you. Alright, so far, so good. Now we have our Plague Doctor. Uh, and Fixed Plague for three tunes reduces all enemies' essence generation by 23, 22 for three turns. We're gonna hit back. Oh, it hits all of them. Awesome. Alright, we got the Witch. Curse inflicts essence. Let's curse them as well. Bam, we got one. Uh, we are for sure gonna win this. I don't know, we'll see. Alright, hatchet thrower. Damage to entire melee row. <sighs> Insufficient energy, cost 30, 30. Mm, skip a turn. All right, Viking. Viking, melee attack. Let's see. Front row, enemies. Still solid. Deals base damage. No. They're already intimidated. Oh, 25 energy. We're going to skip a turn again. Okay, Savage. Only hit the front row, go right in front of us. That turn wasn't as good. Shields up. All right, Plague Doctor. By 15 essence regeneration to allies. 
just keep cursing him. You hit that one. All right, half life on this big tank in the front. Mm. All allies instantly recover energy. We'll do that. Boom. So far, I got a couple taking some damage, but no one close to dying. And now we have the energy. Burn them. Oh. You. Oh, poor life. Kill him. Who do we want to hit with blood magic? I think we're gonna win this round. And now we'll just poke until they're gone. Poke. First. I wonder if we can make it through this without losing a single person. Our savage has taken the most damage. Hit for 27. You done! See, it's because I built... The perfect team. Last but not least, I want to bring you over to the official Steam page for Spirit of Europe Origins. Listen to this. An edutainment JRPG experience spanning from ancient Greece to the 12th century European Renaissance, brimming with historical accurate characters and events experienced through two realms of the spirit, thoughts and emotions, and the material world. Just in case you didn't believe me. Very positive, 90% on 100 reviews, very positive, and the game completely free to play, okay? Completely free to play, and they continue to update it as well. The last update actually dropped August 12th, 2022, titled No Strings Attached. So they continue to update the game as well. And just in case you are curious, system requirements for this game is nothing crazy. Intel Core i5 or AMD Ryzen 5, eight gigabytes of RAM and dedicated graphics, so anything with the next, anything basically a decade back can play this. Now, something I mentioned briefly in the video, and that is the actual registration process for this game. So Spirit of Europe Origins registration process. And again, you can register, and this is what it looks like when you first boot up the game. And you will actually be given quizzes to earn a certificate, okay? Maybe you're a history buff like me, and this is something that very much interests you, okay? Because while you're playing the game, you're going to come across historical figures, all right? And then an example of this, it's showing you like the registration process and why. Uh, I think there's a question right here. Like, uh, Demeter was the Greek goddess of... Demeter? Demeter? And then there's questions. Okay, anyways, that would be like the first assessment. Then you go through, then you go through, and you come to step 10. Once you successfully finish the game, please complete the final assessment and the game feedback form in order to get your certificate. An actual certificate for learning your history and completing the game. Spirit of Europe Origins. I want to know your opinion. Is this Aaron? I don't know about this game or dude, I want to play it and it's completely free. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Well, then today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. Helps the channel in 2022. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 42 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the links in the description. Check out this game. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. 
That's all I've got. Hopefully today you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out. <laughs>